bless it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It is an absolute uh, treat to be here. I, I truly do love this city. And uh, I've been in Canada for about a week and a half now, starting the, finishing this massive tour I did. You know, I was in Calgary, Edmonton, made my way uh, east. And uh, it's, it's really interesting and very telling uh, uh, the difference between Americans and Canadians is that to, to show you an example of how awful and repugnant Americans can be <laughs> is the only thing that we've found to make fun of Canada for, the only thing after hundreds of years of your existence and your culture, all we can make fun of you for is being polite. <laughs> that is a source of amusement to us, that you're polite, that you, that you exhibit this good, decent human behavior, this trait that, that is a good thing that should be uh, uh, you know, taught to every child on the planet that makes a world a better place. It's funny to us. Now, as I said, I was on, uh, uh, I did quite a, an extensive tour and uh, uh, all over the United States, Europe, Canada, and I got to see so many uh, uh, great, uh, stupid things, many, many poor business businesses. And uh, one of the funniest things I, I saw was in, uh, I was in Santa Rosa, California, and there was a tattoo parlor, right? And it was, uh, the name of it was Faith Tattoos, and you know, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're uh, the name of it in big, beautiful, cursive letters on their, uh, on their door there. And then what was funny, though, was the slogan for the tattoo parlor, again, written in big, beautiful letters, Faith Tattoos, home of the get what you get tattoo. <laughs> the get what you get tattoo. I can't think of a worse slogan for a tattoo poly. That's not entire, how does that even work? I don't, how did, like, just, hi, yes, uh, uh, I'm a little nervous. I've never gotten a tattoo before, but um, this is a, a, a photo of, of uh, my daughter, Angel. Uh, she would have been six today. And I'm wondering if you could uh, uh, tattoo her on, the, on my back and then above it, uh, uh, a ribbon that says, rest in peace. And then beneath it, it would say, uh, bye bye, sweetheart. Mommy misses you very much. And, uh, and I don't, I know, is it, is it gonna hurt? I don't know, I've heard it hurts. Should I take a shot of whiskey or something? I don't know, okay, just, I forget it. Um, and then, you know, cut to three hours later. Uh, all right, all done, you wanna take a look? All right, thank you. Oh my God, what is this? This isn't what I asked for. This is a naked female devil with big tits flipping the bird and spreading her legs that says, yo nigga, where my paper be at? <laughs> <laughs> what? This is not what I asked for at all. You get what you get. <laughs> that's why I put it, that's why it's on the door, lady. It's on the door, don't tell me you didn't see that. It's big letters. That's on you, all right? I'm an artist, okay? I wasn't feeling your dead kid thing. It was kind of bumming me out, to be honest. <laughs> kind of bummed me out. I went a different way, you know? And, uh, and this is for real. The, the uh, tattoo parlor uh, found out that I had mentioned them in the set that night, and no idea of the context, but uh, got in touch with me on my Facebook page, and they uh, said, Hey man, heard you mention the shop. Uh, don't know if you're still in town, but if you want to come down, get a get what you get tattoo, we'll waive the fee. And, uh, no, thank you. No. I don't, I don't roll the dice on a tattoo. That's not, you know, I'm not gonna go in there and go, all right, let's see what I got. <laughs> Fucking Iron Cross, god damn it. I gotta. And the thing is, there is a specific tattoo that I, I want to get, and I've wanted to get it for years, and I, I keep pussing out, but, uh, uh, and I have a, a number of tattoos, and uh, the first tattoo I ever got is on my stomach, and it says, do not see memento. And, <laughs> like 
but there is this specific tattoo that I, I've wanted to get for a while, and uh, as I said, I keep pussing out, but um, I want to get a tattoo of Muhammad, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not, not just Muhammad, that'd be inflammatory, I'm, you know, I would think of a creative, clever way to, uh, to, to get it done, uh, and, and uh, I would um, put his likeness on the back of a milk carton, <laughs> and, and then it would say, have you seen me? See? <laughs> Smart. It's clever. Clever way of doing that. Because in, um, in my country, we put pictures of missing children <laughs> on milk cartons because nobody can find missing kids like milk drinkers. <laughs> that is the power of vitamin D, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it, it imbues you with this uh, extra, this sixth sense, this, this uh, extra ability to, uh, to seek out and know when uh, children are hidden 10 feet below the Earth's surface in a, <laughs> in a panic room. Honey, stop the car. Stop. What's wrong? Stop the car. Did you have milk this morning? Yes, I did. Yes. Just stop the car. Give, give, me, give me that milk in there. But honey, we were saving that for a special occasion. Just, a child's life is in danger. Give me the milk. Oh, fuck that. Give me the half and half. No, that's too much power. All right. No, but I, I would, I, I truly would like to, uh, to get that tattoo of Bahamut on the milk carton, but, um, and I would, but I just, you know, I don't wanna ever be in that position where, you know, as, as the blade is cutting into the jugular of having to go, but you see the irony, right? Because I don't, <laughs> yeah. Trying to explain irony to a jihadist, that's not. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yes, yes, I see now. I don't, I don't know why my jihadist sounds like Santa. Uh, he just does. That's my opening. <laughs>